those of you who don't know me, my name's Steve Kane. I'm the head engineer here at TDC and also I look after all the media servers and, and tracking systems and, and kind of the more obscure kind of devices uh, is, is what I like to do. So we've got a couple of new things we'd like to show you today and talk through. So uh, for this demonstration, we're running uh, the awesome D3 media server, which if you glance across, it's a far right hand screen. We also uh, like to showcase the Black Tracks tracking system, which uh, will come into play and, and track me doing things. There's also notch generative effects that are, is running on, on D3 as well. And we're coming out today of our, uh, our new 30,000 lumen laser projectors and also some moving head projectors as well that I'd, I'd like to show for you. So what's kind of happening over here in our little control world in a, in a very dulled down kind of way is uh, we have the Black Tracks tracking system. And what that's doing is in real time making uh, all this data and information of where I am and it's feeding that into the D3 media server. It's also going into a lighting desk. We have a Grand MA2 here, but it could be absolutely any desk you, you wish. They're obviously talking to each other. The media server is talking to the notch generative engine, which is obviously talking to each other. And from there is coming out to all of our end display devices, such as the projectors, uh, the LED screen the, that I'm standing on and, and uh, working with here. Also the moving projectors that we'll get to and of course the lighting. So how tracking works, it's, uh, I'm wearing a, a thing called a beacon, which is this little sensor in my shirt here. It gets run off a little belt pack, which is uh, not too dissimilar to uh, a lapel mic transmitter. And what that's doing is flashing infrared light out into the world. And I'm standing in a ring of these very specialized infrared tracking cameras. And what that does is it plots me in space around here. So it goes up, down, left, right, and you can see it's kind of making cloud point data over here on the black track screen. And what all that means is it feeds into D3 and I become a little green blob in space and we can do some pretty cool stuff that we'd like to show you now. So one of the real cool things is lighting tracking. So you probably notice there's uh, some pink moving lights behind me. They're now follow spots and they're going to track me anywhere I go, anywhere in this space of uh, our demonstration today or wherever the cameras can see my sensor. You'll also notice that the circles here will stay the same size uh, because the iris and focus and all these attributes are changing in real time as to where I am in space, any, like I say, anywhere around here. Another way we can use this uh, same uh, technology is what's called active zones. So I'm standing in a, in a zone that I've drawn here, which just happens to be the lead floor, I'm calling that my stage. So now when I go to, to leave the stage, it knows that I'm leaving and it goes, oh, Steve's gone, and it turns off the lights. And when I come back onto the stage, it goes, Ah, oh, Steve's back, let's pick him up. And it lights me up again, and away we go. So what you can do with this is set as many zones as you wish around your stage or venue or, or wherever you like. And you can have any combination of lights working with beacons and zones simultaneously. So your options are really unlimited because they're turned on and off by Q for Q off the console. So you can do it as much as you like. It's very powerful, very cool. The next thing we'd like to show you is this, which is the Barco DML 1200s, which is a projector on a moving yoke, much like a moving light, only, like I say, it's a, it's a projector. So you'll see an animated logo starting to rotate on my, my shirt and also on the, the ground around me. It responds like the lights. I'm now being tracked by a projector. Now, we're the first ones in the world to do this. Our uh, good friends at Black Tracks have uh, helped us out and worked with us for some code and and uh, we're the only ones doing this in the world at the moment. So we're quite proud of this. And what the advantage of having a projector track you rather than just being covered by a projection is you keep the resolution up nice and high because you zoomed right in just to this logo at this point of time. Another cool use for this would be as a moving light because no longer are you limited by gobos or, or the cost of making custom gobos. Just make it yourself out of Photoshop or or After Effects or whatever and upload it and away you go. So again, options are really endless with this new technology that we can offer you. The next thing I'd like to talk about is projected set tracking. So this is really cool. You're going to love this bit. What we've got here is a couple of timber flats with some, some sensors or beacons built in. There's actually three on each set. And I'm going to actually jump off stage for a sec so you can see better. But what's going to happen is the gents are going to bring these on and the video is going to just stick to it like it's a poster. So this is obviously playing moving video 
and uh, the guys are free to go absolutely anywhere where they wish on stage. And even if they spin on some crazy kind of weird angles, you can get about 80 degrees off axis to the projector and it'll sort it out for you. And that's really the power of the D3 media server and obviously taking the information from the black tracks and just locking it together, which is pretty impressive, yeah? Like, it shouldn't be possible, but it, it is. And even if the guys come uh, forward and back on the stage, you'll notice that the uh, Contiki torch in this instance stays the same size. Now, normally with, with projection, that would be getting smaller, be getting bigger, distorting, getting out of focus, all these things, but uh, not anymore because of the, uh, the power of the servers, the, the black tracks working with, with D3. The next way we can use this technology is I'm projecting the same content on the, the timber flats as on the back wall, yet I can reveal things such as logos in the middle because it's only acting on the flats where they are in space. And same again if the gents uh, spin them around on weird angles and things like that, that's fine. He'll sort it out for you, keep it all in perspective. So it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty cool technology. We love this stuff. So the next uh, pretty exciting thing I'd like to show you is what we're calling generative content. So everything you've seen so far has been a pre-made video from a graphics house animator and placed on these surfaces and manipulated, which is very cool. But now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're now going to make content in real time right now on the server responding to where I am in space. So we'll start off with some snowflakes, bring some snowflakes down around me and across the floor. And what's cool about this is you'll, you'll notice that obviously we have two walls on a floor all meeting up. To do this with normal graphics would be quite a process of mapping the area with some UV coordinates and templates and lots of uh, time consuming renders. None of that's really in play here because it's making it right now. Same with under my feet, I have a particle spiral and that's going to stay with me wherever I walk. Now because we're talking about generative content, I've made a generative little spiral on, the, on notch. However, this doesn't have to be because it's all being processed on the D3. So this could be a video file or a still image. It could be anything. It could be a little sign saying, hi, my name's Steve. In case you forget who I am, you can come up and look at my feet and say g'day. It can be anything you wish. Another way we can use this technology is add it to props. So I have over here a magic wand. And what I can now do is bring my wand down here and draw in real time on all the screens. In, uh, in our 3D kind of virtual space. So I went with the fire and ice theme today, but uh, uh, you can come up with anything you want. It, uh, it, it's, it's pretty powerful stuff. And if you think like it doesn't have to be a prop, you could use the same thing uh, with tracking a person. So maybe you've got a, a dancer moving across stage and you want to follow them and have particles shoot across the dance floor while they go across, or ice skating rinks, or people on skateboards, whatever you wish. You can, uh, the, the options really are endless. The last little part of, of my demonstration is uh, what we're calling treatments. So at the back of the room, we have a, a broadcast box lens. It's going out through the OB truck you would have seen on your way in. That signal is now coming back into the D3 media server, getting treated by a notch. And what that means is I'm going to pop up over here in a bunch of little windows with real time effects happening on me. So on the floor and also the bottom left corner, you'll see some smoke. Now more smoke will generate the more I move my hands. It's coming, reacting. To, to, my, to my body and how I move around. Same with bottom right, I can turn myself into a kind of a, a neon kind of figure. You'll see it's tracing extremities around my, my fingers and my arms. It works on a light and shade kind of basis and uh, another really cool effect. At the top, I made myself a, a kind of sketch as if I was a cartoon character being sketched out. And then if you want to take a really expensive multi-million dollar OB truck and turn it into a broken TV, we've got you covered as well. And that's what's happening up on the top right. That's kind of the end of my formal presentation. So uh, I'm going to hang out over here by the, the gear. So if you'd like to know anything or come and have a play with anything, you are absolutely more welcome. I'd love to chat to you more. And my name's Steve. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Thank you.